to stabilize an animal that's been picked up on animal control. If it's got severe medical problems that are going to require severe treatment, long-term medications, long-term treatments, how far do you go? And once the owner has been identified, what is that owner's choice to do? And don't pressure them into something they don't want to do. And who's the one paying for it? Is it the rescue group? Is it the state? Is it the county? Is it the city? Because somebody's going to put that bill. And to let the public know who's putting that bill to. And the donors know who's putting that bill. As far as being neuter goes, I want to know how many dogs and cats that have been done under state assistance with this thing your money come back and get their rabies vaccine a year later and contribute to that $3 per charge. Come back three years after that and do it again. Because every year that that dog gets that vaccine or that cat, they're helping to support the others. If they're not supporting it, I have concerns there. Um, I know they're looking for a new source of money to help fund that legislation and to do it in the future, and I hope that it's not the people that are doing regular, yearly care for their animals that are helping those that aren't seeking regular care. It's a privilege to own a pet. It's not something that you can go out and pick up on the street, but you need to look at your finances and your state of life before you go and get one, two, six, seven, however many dogs you have to get. And hopefully there'll be a limit on the number of procedures a family can have over their lifetime. I know it is per year, but hopefully somebody's not having 